<laughs> we, we're at Ave Maria Grotto. Ave Maria Grotto. This is what Sheila has found for us to do. What I mean by us is me and you. What, do you know what this is? Nope. This is like how our adventures usually begin. We have no really big concept, but it should be interesting here in Alabama. A man and a woman left their home To switch things up and go on the road And they didn't know where they would go But it's gotta be better than staying home They switched it up They switched it up Birds are chirping, light wind, beautiful spring type day. And Sheila's got our fun facts for today. <laughs> I'm working on it. There's a lot to read. This is a monk. Uh huh. Monk of the Abbey, his brother Joseph. Okay, seems like a it's very a Catholic two name. Block pathway. <laughs> it's a miniature building, opened in 1934, but he built his first replica in 1912. So we got a little history going. And his last one is of the church. Constructing was 80 years old, so it's a it was a hobby of this monk. He was just out there monking around. <laughs> Come on, let's go, let's go. Brand new street and brand new me. Side by side by friends I need. Don't you tell me they are. I gotta admit, it's like when a person decides this is going to be my life's work and you start, he only starts with one structure, right? And then for years he comes out and starts creating more and more structures to the tune of everything you see this whole thing down here is the culmination of a life work. It's, I mean, it's really crazy to see because a lot of times in our life we don't get to see what our life work, all the little things we've done, it's untangible. You can't necessarily look back and see it. He definitely left some sort of impression where thousands of people come every single year to come and see what, even though a lot of it was created from his imagination, well, that's credit to a lot of things. Well, and people sent him things. So yeah, they he sent him would, things, and then he would. I it's, think like there's a little, like a little boat dish sitting on July top of. That's the... Newport, Rhode Island, a little boat dish, the mysterious tower. Like, yeah, it's it's. I think it's that. That's the most impressive part. It's kinda... He let it read a lot of history, and so then he just created from that history and out of scripture. There's imagination. Like the, well, there's the Alamo. I mean... We never went to the Alamo. He never went to it, but that's what it looks like. Similar. Pretty close. <laughs> I mean, with the con pieces that he had to work with. As a monk, you're just kind of, you're kind of kept to yourself. And I imagine there was nothing really around. Think of just being down here working in silence. Where nowadays, I could barely put down my cell phone without checking things. Now, here's St. Peter's Church in Rome. Now, we have been here, and it was something to see. So, I don't know if he ever had the opportunity to go see that. I don't know I'm if looking. that was one of them. We've been to the Colosseum. We've been very fortunate to be to those places. This is very true. I mean, the whole uh, middle, this is where we chase those pigeons around. <laughs> Where's the Leaning Tower of Pizza? Up there. Oh yeah, there it is. Can you see it? Yeah. It's that big. It's miniature size. It's miniature size. Wow, this is the prayer something he made. This is huge. I would die if I saw you now. Dreams might turn into something real. Don't you give me the look, take a bow. Since this is a little old, they ought to modernize the city a little bit and take like, <laughs> they, they could take little Lego people and put like Lego people and glue them on different things. But that wouldn't be his work. No, it wouldn't be his work. I feel like I'm walking like I'm a giant, like Mothra in Godzilla. <laughs> Just 
some time and this was just something a little hobby that he picked up and he had no idea like people hundreds of years later would be sitting here there's a lot here 125 it says i think 125 little statues of things he made and i wonder when he was all done like when he said who, who knows how old he was and he would just walk through here and just the prayers he said and that's really odd to think through what his thoughts were during this whole deal because think about it i don't think anyone else in the united states has spent this much time building something like this 70 years of his life. That's the closest Shiloh will be to the Great Wall of China in quite a while. <laughs> With the way things are in the world, we take what we could get. I would have to say this was a good day. Come and see this. It's kind of unexpected in a way. Did you enjoy this little walk? I think it's interesting. I don't know if I have the imagination to read history things and not look at pictures and to come up with what the building looks like. Yeah, because they didn't really have that as much back then. They had pictures. Well, yeah. We were talking he started in the 20s. Oh, yeah. 100 years ago. So it's not like that you could just Google it. What's this building look like? raisins in it. Let's go see what else we can find today. Uh, that was not my question. My question <laughs> for you was how do you think you would handle like a, the like a monastery retreat center like where you can't speak? How do you think you'd do? People, <laughs> I think if you're watching our videos you know there is no way that I could not speak. <laughs> I have too many opinions. <laughs> A lot of times they're wrong opinions. I just want, but you would, would just you be would there just for be, silence. Do they make such a thing? Do they make monastery monk retreats? Yes. Like, I've had several of my friends that go on a, like, a retreat Who? weekend. Who? Who? What friends do you have that are going on these retreats of silence? So many of our pastors have went to just get away and to pray and to think and I to I pray ride. for you, pastors, because that is, there's oh, no it way. it sounds amazing to me. Because I snore at night. And no, I... it'd just be complete silence where you can just think and no, no extra noise. You like, I will say, you like noise I'll say a this. lot. This bread is like like a rock. That thing's a thick bread. It was made by the monks today. I know, and it says made by the monks. It's like you don't get a name, you don't get an I identity. I have friends that have the last name of monk. <laughs> I don't think that it was them that made it. <laughs> they get royalties. I wish we could talk to the monks. That'd be pretty They're awesome. They're not supposed to talk. That ruins the whole identity of... I know that monks can talk. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you no. thought I was serious. <laughs> You know, another cool thing when we were walking through there that I was thinking of is when he did the replica of the Noah's Ark thing. But mm -hmm. when we went to the Noah's Ark thing in Kentucky is an experience. I yes. will say that if you ever get a chance to go to that, go with an open mind, believer or not believer, whatever, because it is massive. I had no clue how big it really was. So I just thought much of that. larger than I ever imagined. I'm trying to think of what that tree is right there. Oh. That's really pretty. Because I was thinking, my 10-year-old boy said, that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> uh, oh gosh, that's so funny. It was built in 1904. That's pretty old. Live a little, flip the page, give us some more, getting out of my way. It's hiding. Oh, he didn't, he didn't think we were, we were done. He didn't think, he didn't think Sheila would be like, oh, let's stop here real quick. Why not? This happens to be the Clarkson Covered Bridge. Really? With the accent again? Yeah. Built in 1904. Uh huh. By farmers used it to cross Crooked Creek. Well, we got a Crooked Creek down there? Yes, so. All right. I think you read somewhere it was like one of the longest covered bridges in the United States. Still standing? We don't know if that's true. She thought she saw All that. the changes. Where to begin? When a mountain moving revelation came marching in. Smells, you know how that. The old barns? Mm hmm. That sound, that hollow wood. 
Can you imagine having all the horse and, horse and buggies, buggies going, going over it? After watching some of the shows like 1883 and stuff, gives you a new appreciation for the West. And dang the rough life that they have. Yeah. Oh, huh, this is really neat. It's really long. I mean, it's quite a... Maybe that's why I say it's one of the longest ones in the United States. Here's the other thing. Do you think the monk, his whole work, you know, and everything he did for 70 some years, do you think he went on this bridge? You'd think he'd have to go on this bridge, living where he lived. Oh, look at this. This is pretty. I will say, we always kind of find these unique little hidden gems on accident. But I guess that's all about going out and getting, doing stuff. Look how pretty this is. Sheila's doing something sneaky. What are you doing? I got it. <laughs> oh, she has adventure sticker canister. Should we explain to you what the adventure stickers are? We never give a behind the scenes, so this seems like an appropriate video for that. Hold on, I'm coming. I'm trying to get, I am trying to get my coordinates. She's trying to get GPS coordinates. This is really pretty though, with the covered bridge and all the stuff that's here. This is nice. So we want you to get out and see things, and so we plant little adventure stickers. Should we show them what it looks like? Yeah, show them an adventure sticker. If you're new to the channel, you don't know what this is. On our website, we started doing it a little bit last year, and the only way you get an adventure sticker from Switch It Up... So it says Switch It Up Adventures on it. ...is you have to go out and find them. Now, unfortunately, there's probably only 20 in one of these, and they're on our website, and you can click on it, and then she gives like the... GPS coordinates and how to find. This is just a little more details than we normally do. This one's actually going to be hidden. But it's in, it's out in nowhere, Alabama. It's right, right there. It's right there. Should tell them things like, we're never going to ask you to do something unbelievably dangerous, like climb or, out in the middle of a waterfall. Or break any major laws or anything like that. So major don't laws. think. <laughs> major laws. Minor ones, maybe. Because we didn't know. We don't know if we're. Yeah, we're just. We're out just here having you fun. To come see things. So look at our website for all the others we've left. And if you go to one and it's not there, let us know so we can remove it also from the website. Yes. This is beautiful here. Nice little find right off the road. And if you're coming to the Hidden Cove Thousand Trails, you're about 30 minutes away from this one. Let me tell you, Hidden Cove is a little hidden gem. It is. Oh, why don't we do this? We'll finish up here. We'll go back to Hidden Cove. I saw some shot some drone footage and we can do a little campground review oh, to yeah, finish this what, video up. Show them what's that drone. We'll do that. All right, in the meantime, I'm going to get my GPS coordinates and you're going to take them and go away. I'm going to go away now. So I can get my pictures. <laughs> Look for this pole. On top of this rock cropping across the bridge. Is that bridge? Shh. I'm not probably giving you way too much information. We normally don't give you any information but a picture and GPS coordinates, but this time it seems appropriate. It's a fun way to go and spend some time out and about. And that's an e this is an easy walk. And it's super pretty. If I didn't know any better, she looks like Bigfoot up there. Although my hair is a complete disaster today. This cover bridge is just fabulous. Engineering back then was crazy to me. Walmart, little sightseeing, day in the life of an RVer. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Look at all the Walmart goodies. Walmart goodies. 
Okay, Sheila, you're putting away, she's putting away the groceries. So while you, while she does that, how about I share with you the park? So we are in Hidden Cove RV Resort, and it happens to be, let me get out here in the light, happens to be a really nice little RV park. If you can see, it overlooks a big bluff over here, and that's, I believe, Smith Lake. And it's a Thousand Trails collection, so that means that Sheila said that this is the top of the Alabama Thousand Trails resorts that you can actually go to. So this is kind of that northern touch. As we're heading back up to go see family and friends, we're making our way back to Kansas City, this is kind of one of the stops. Now, it's got a, a lot of people that I believe they're probably, they rent their spot for the season and they just hang out here and they just leave all their stuff. And then in the center of the park, there's, there's three loops. There's an A loop, a B loop, and a C loop. We're up in basically the C loop and it's a little bit newer, I think, with all the gravel. And a lot of the spots are pull-throughs. So there's plenty of room. It's just a lot of gravel. Down here you have the clubhouse, you've got boat docks, you've got all this stuff that you can do. I think in the summertime that this place is really hopping. Since we're starting out coming into the end of March and the first week of April, things are a little slower at the moment, but I shot some awesome drone footage. Here's the cons. The cons is it's all gravel, number one. Two, if you like this, it's off the beaten path. So that means that you are not gonna find a grocery store. You might find a Dollar General about 25 minutes away. Grocery store is about 45 minutes. Um, and that means the same places where you're gonna find like your Home Depots, your Lowe's and all the, the main stuff, but it's 45 minutes away. So I would suggest if you're gonna come here, you stock up on all your food, you come and you hang out and just be off the grid. Internet, little spotty. You can pay $5 a day to have their internet here. We have our system that's up there from internet on the go, um, .net, and it's a great system. Even it, it's probably a little, it's about half the speed than I normally get, but we're still getting reception. We did a Zoom call this morning and stuff, so you could probably still work here without any major implications. But just know, there's a lot of kids running around and having a good time. It's fairly quiet. One other thing, it's close to a military base, so jets will fly over, usually around 9, 10, 11 a.m., really low, and it's super loud, and it's like, it's really cool. It's like Top Gun. Those are the pros and cons, but I thought, why not conclude it with a little, we don't do too many of these RV park reviews, but I thought this would be appropriate for you to know kind of where we're at. And then the kind of the things that we just went out and seen. There's a couple other hikes that you can go on that are about 30 minutes away. We didn't go do those, but that's on the opposite direction than where we were today. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let's see if she was finishing up. Let's see if she has any tips that I'm forgetting. What are these? I don't want you to see. Yeah, that, 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 what are these? This is my little... A little Debbie. I eat Twinkies. There was a whole bag of snacks. They were a whole bag of Todd snacks. <laughs> I have zebra cakes and Twinkies. That's what I'm on a kick now. I'm trying the banana zebra cakes right now. No, the banana Twinkies. That ba just yeah, sounds banana, wrong. Banana Twinkies, sorry. But I don't even like Twinkies. Yeah, the, I think it the, sounds like a, a wonderful little treat. Well, maybe you should try one right now. No, let them know. we don't want to end this on, 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 on Twinkies. I'm telling you, oh, it's banana cream filling. Oh, I didn't read that part. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, anyway. Okay, was there anything I'm missing before we let them go? I have no idea what you said, so how the heck would I know? Wow, we have a little attitude today on Switch It Up. <laughs> today, so make sure make sure to tell day. them to like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> probably every day we probably have a little attitude. Yeah, no, I was explaining to them kind of the park and some of the pros and cons of it being dirt mm. way off the road. And it's actually a quiet RV park. Anything else yeah. around this area well, that you're thinking? Well, I think next time we come this direction, we'll rent a boat. We'll do it in Yeah, we were going to take the kayaks out, but it did. We had uh, We've like... We've just kind of been in a cold Windy, spot. yeah. Yeah, so... So it was rant. Rant. We'll rant. do it again. Okay. Uh, yeah. I don't know. All right. That being said, I guess well, this video is done. <laughs> like, stick a fork in it. It's over. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in, and if you didn't like this video, that's okay. Sometimes it takes a little while to warm up to us. You kind of grow on you like a fungus. Or just try in a couple days, we'll post another one. You might like that you one. You might like that one better. <laughs> we post two times a week, sometimes three. You never know what we're going to do. Yeah. So thanks so much for tuning in today, giving us your time. We really do appreciate it. Leave a comment down below if there's something we're missing in this area that you think we should come back and see at some point. Other than that, we are... Sheila. Say it. Out. Say it.